do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so friends this is a numerical which is based on the law of chemical combination so let us understand the question and let us see what are they asking about so the first thing is that they have mentioned as present on the screen that is 6 dm cube that is 6 liter of hydrogen are exploded with 2.4 dm cube of oxygen in a closed chamber so we have to calculate the volume of water vapor formed and the volume of any gas remaining unconsumed in that reaction under same conditions under same condition means they are talking about stp that is standard temperature and pressure and again since they have mentioned standard temperature and pressure basically they are mentioning about gay lussac law of combining volumes so the first thing that we have to understand is we should know that what would be the overall reaction so since they have presented uh, this question in numerical and they have not mentioned a reaction of it so it would be very difficult for us to understand what would be the value of the required question or the required thing that they are asking about so the first thing is we are going to write a chemical reaction of this thing so the first thing that i have to mention is when hydrogen is being exploded then hydrogen will be exploded in presence of oxygen so as to liberate h2 so let us see what would be the chemical reaction so hydrogen which is present in a gaseous form if i react it with water sorry if i react with oxygen and again oxygen is present in a gaseous form so the answer or the product that should be we would get is nothing but h2 itself which will be a water vapor because it is being uh, reacted in a closed chamber so first of all let us see whether the atoms are being balanced or not talking about h2 in this case that is for hydrogen atoms yes hydrogen atoms is being balanced for on the left hand side as well as on the right hand side that is on the product side but talking about the oxygen atoms on left hand side as you can see that there are two atoms of oxygen while on right hand side that is when i talk in about product side there is only one atom of oxygen so therefore it is not balanced so we have to balance it how so as to balance this oxygen what i am doing is i am multiplying this product as two this is nothing but the rule of stoichiometry that i am doing so by this case what i get is there are four atoms of hydrogen that i could see uh, on the product side but on the left hand side there is only two atoms of hydrogen so what i am going to do is i will also balance it now so now this is the reaction that is being balanced a very much easy reaction and let me tell you friends this kind of reaction you should know or you should elaborate to know so that's so i am helping you that how to elaborate this kind of chemical reactions so now moving towards the basic thing that they have asked that is in this case two volumes of hydrogen atoms is been reacting with one volume of oxygen atom so as to get two volumes of that is h2 so i could write this thing as suppose i consider the volume of uh, h2 in this case is nothing but two volume while that of the oxygen will be one volume and in this case the volume of h2 will again be two volume so the ratio according to the gay lussac law will be 2 is to 1 is to 2 now moving towards the next thing that they have provided us that 6 dm cube of hydrogen is being exploded with 2.4 dm cube of oxygen atom so suppose if i take if one volume of oxygen molecule is considered to be nothing but that is 2.4 dm cube of oxygen itself so therefore if i see that one volume of oxygen is been reacting with two volumes of hydrogen atoms then only i could get two volumes of h2 so therefore one volume of o2 is been reacted with two volumes of h2 that means one volume of o2 will require two volumes of h2 it is nothing but 2 into 2.4 so overall the oxygen that is required for the two volumes of h2 is nothing but 4.8 that is 
4.8 dm cube of oxygen is required so as to react and to form two volumes of h2 and in this case as we could see that the overall uh, volume of water that has been uh, we, that we are getting after the reaction is nothing but two volume itself that is for two volume which means we are talking about 4.8 dm cube of water so in this case 4.8 dm cube of water is being elaborated or is been we are getting 4.8 dm cube but the oxygen but the hydrogen that they have provided us is 6.0 dm cube but the overall hydrogen that is required is nothing but 4.8 dm cube itself so therefore i could write it as among 6.0 dm cube of h2 only that is 4.8 dm cube of h2 is reacting with 2.4 dm cube of oxygen so therefore among this 6.0 dm cube only 4.8 dm cube is been reacting so therefore the amount of h2 unreacted will be equals to 6.0 minus 4.8 and in this case the answer would be 1.2 dm cube so let us see what are the what the question that they have been asked us they have asked us that we have to calculate what would be the volume of water vapors that has been formed it has been clearly mentioned earlier also that is the volume of h2o form will be nothing but 4.8 dm cube according to the gale effect law that we have did and the amount of the gas that remains unreacted is nothing but the 1.2 dm cube of h2 that is of hydrogen gas so this was the numerical which we have solved and i hope you have understood this numerical very thoroughly so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and yes please share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe eGida channel thank you so much